Hey babe, I'm 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 leaving. I'll be back later, okay? You're leaving wearing wearing that? Where you where you headed? I'm just going out with my friends tonight. You're just gonna have a little fun and whatnot. A little fun and whatnot? Are there gonna be other guys there? I mean it's a it's a bar, so I'm assuming there there might be. Why do you need to go places with other men that are gonna be at? I mean, men are going to going to be like everywhere. What are you, what are you talking about? I don't feel comfortable with you going out dressed like that with other men around. Dressed like 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 what? Dress like that. Like you want other men? Look at how you dress. Like you want other men to see you? You want another? You want another man? I'm not. A, I'm not man enough for you. Whoa! Calm, calm down. Where Where is this coming from? You don't. You don't trust me? It's not that I don't trust you. I just don't trust other men around you. So t- just take that off and just stay here with me. Am I? Why can't we just hang? Because we we hang every day. I just want to go out for a little bit. I'm not. I'm not going to be long. Well, I'm going to. Or you need to pick up every time I Facetime you. I don't even want to go anymore. Good. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. I am self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, also known as Mental Illness from TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. You know where to find me at. If this is your first time seeing my face, I am a diagnosed narcissist. I have narcissistic personality disorder, and the point of my entire platform is to bring awareness to this disorder and to also validate the victims and survivors of said disorder in the process. This series right here, A Narcissist Explains, is why I take my TikToks, and I, you know, I expound upon those. I go into deeper explanation about those. So the video you just watched is about a narcissist, you know, projecting their insecurities on somebody else and being very, very controlling. This is one of the main topics that I, you know, discuss when I'm doing my one-on-ones with, with people over Zoom and whatnot is the fact that, like, a narcissist will, wants to be in control of every single situation, of every single circumstance that you are, that you encounter, that their significant others encounter, that their kids encounter. A narcissist wants to be in complete, you know, and total control of the situation and whatnot. So, one of the biggest insecurities that narcissists have is, you know, being replaced. A narcissist does not get like that's one of the main thoughts that it goes to a narcissist's mind. Like, I don't want to be replaced. So. If I keep this person away from, you know, members of the opposite sex, like me, you know, or the same sex, depending on you, know, depending on, you know, the sexuality and whatnot. Um, if I keep this person away from other people um, that they could be attracted to, then I, there's no way I could be abandoned. There's no way that this person could replace me. So, like, like in this scenario I played out right here, the narcissist makes you feel so insecure and belittles you to the point where you don't even want to go anywhere. Hey, I'm just going out to the bar. What's at the bar other than guys? Hey, I'm going to the supermarket. Make sure you cover up. I don't want any guys looking at you. Or women. Women do this, women do this too. I need to make it very, very clear that women do this as well. This is not just a man-centric thing. Women can be and are narcissists as well. This is not just a man thing. You know what I mean? So a woman would do the same thing. I don't trust other girls around you. That's one of the main statements you hear. It's not just narcissists that do this. Any toxic, insecure person will do the same thing. Um, I don't. It's not that I don't trust you. I just don't trust other. Uh, like I'm speaking from my own perspective. I don't trust other guys around you. And what that means is they really don't trust you. Cause like I don't trust other guys around you. What does that? What does that even mean? But uh, yeah, I, I understand the, the the you know the possibility of you know S A. You know S A is you know of S A happening. But other than that, what do you really mean? Like I don't trust other guys. It's not. It's not that I don't. It's not that I don't trust you. I don't trust other guys around you. You see what they say? You see, you see that statement right there. What does that even mean? I know what it means. It means that they don't trust you around other people that you could, you know, you could use to, you know, cheat on them with, or replace them with, or cheat, you know, go away from us with. You know, what I mean? so that's one of the main statements that you'll hear come out of a narcissist's mouth when they, you know, try to pro- project their insecurities upon you. And it might not be insecurities as well. Sometimes, or well, a lot of time, when they'll t- they're trying to keep you away from members of the opposite sex, it's because they're feeling guilty about them, them, like themselves cheating on you. They'll be like, "I don't want you around other girls. I mean, I don't, I don't want you around other men or women, whatever, because they are around other men and women cheating on you, actively cheating on you, and their guilty conscience is projecting onto you. It projected onto you, like I know what I know what I'm doing. I know what I do around members of the opposite sex or whatever, or people I'm attracted to." So I expect you to do the same thing. So here it comes. Here, here it it's like verbal vomit. It just comes out. It's like you know. It just comes out. You can't like. It's like saying. I, I call it saying the quiet part out loud, because they, they they we harbor these insecurities. We harbor this guilt and this stuff like that, and it comes out in words like that. I don't want you going anywhere. 
or can try to control the way you dress and things like that because they the same thing I say this all the time too the same things that attracted a narcissist to you they will hate and resent you for later on like if you're if you are just a conventionally attractive person that they met on Instagram and you know you post like you know you post in you know, thirst traps man or woman this is just not for women man or woman you if you consistently post in thirst traps and they like them and they'll message you and y'all end up getting together based off of that they'll make you stop doing that they'll make you feel so insecure about posting the, your thirst traps to your whole Instagram or TikTok or Snapchat your whole prerogative will change on there. Your whole the, your, the whole basis of your content will change on those platforms because they make you feel so insecure and belittle to you every time you post stuff like that. Hey, why do you need to post your ass cheeks out for? Why, why, why do you need to have your ass cheeks out for? Who, who you trying to impress? You got you have a man. I'm, I'm standing right here. Who you trying to impress? Are you getting paid for doing this, or you just do need it for attention? Am I not, am I not giving you enough attention? Are you insecure? Why do you need to post your ass cheeks out? So you, uh, if that keeps happening to you consistently, you'll get tired of it. And a lot of times you're so in love and so enthralled with, with, with me, with the narcissist, that you'll completely change your platform. You're like, well, this is the love of my life. This person has swept me off of my feet. So let me respect what they want, respect their wishes, and delete my whole entire platform, delete my whole entire account, my whole entire social media presence because, because I don't want them feeling insecure. It, it, that's another form of control because a narcissist likes to control you. Everything, like literally everything about you, any kind of promiscuity stuff you, any kind of promiscuous stuff you post. If you have an, a, an OF account or whatever, and you know they know it before you y'all get together, they'll try to cut that off. They'll make you feel insecure about that. They'll try to make you quit your job so you're financially dependent upon them, and that's when the financial abuse can start too. Hey, I know you, I need you to go ahead and quit your. Why you need? Why you need to work? I make enough for both of us. Just go ahead. And, just go ahead and quit your job. I mean, sometimes you'll do it. Like, okay, I can stay at home. And guess what? Now you have to ask for an allowance. Now you have to explain every expenditure you do. So it's a good. It's a very very controlling tactic that you have to be careful about when you're dealing with narcissistic people. Because like we, like I said, I'm just telling you, all this is coming from me directly from me. That we like to be in control of every single situation, and we will we will use the tactic of belittling you. Um, of create, you know, making you feel insecure about yourself, devaluing you, like making you, like if you post like nice pictures online or whatever, good looking pictures online, we'll make you like you know you're not all that right. You know, men like if, 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 if it's a man talking to a woman, you know you're not all that right. Men will literally sleep with anything, and guess what? You're anything. Boom, got you. Now you're projecting their insecurities upon you. Because they don't like narcissists. They, deep down, we're very, very insecure people. Or surface level, we're very, very insecure people. And our egos are big. So we don't want to be re getting replaced or left or abandoned by somebody. We'll def definitely create a huge narcissistic injury that will, could result in, you know, some stalking or some, some wild behaviors. Anyways, y'all, I'm truly grateful for every single one of y'all. If you haven't, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. I'm doing this every day. I try to post two a Narcissist Explains videos every day while going to depth on my TikToks. Um, like and subscribe, share this thing. Well, I truly appreciate every single one of y'all. Mental illness is out. Peace.